Hey, what's going on, you guys? Uh, I thought I'd throw a video out uh, going through the different uh, ways that I have made uh, living in the truck a little bit easier. Uh, you know, we uh, don't often get to see inside uh, other people's trucks and see how they've organized things and see how they work things. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of videos out there that show you the, you know, the truck itself and just show you how it, you know, where the sleeper berth storage is and where the refrigerator is and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, the little, little tips and tricks and hacks that you kind of pick up on as you've been, as you, as you're out here that, uh, you know, end up making things, uh, just a little bit more smooth. So, uh, figured we'd share some of those. If anybody has other ideas, uh, by all means, you know, throw some throw some ideas at me in the comments below. It'd be great to see. Here we start back here. So this is probably the biggest thing that I've done. The light isn't the greatest, but uh, I put this uh, I put this shelf in here. I was having a really hard time figuring out what to do with this microwave. Um, so I'm driving a 15 Cascadia. I know the 18s and the 19s, uh, maybe the 17s, uh, have the refrigerator all the way down on the floor and then there's a separate spot for the microwave here uh but the the microwave man i can fit it up in here if i if i put it in sideways um, but then i've got to kind of angle it out and it's kind of on the edge here and there's no other space to put food that you're trying to prepare or anything like that so i basically just took let me get some light here basically just took some boards and you know put some uh, put some hinges on it here and uh, so if the guys need to get in at the shop or something like that under the sleeper berth I can just take this off and fold it up and get it out of here one important thing if you're gonna do this uh, you got to get some velcro pads uh, on the feet of these things man I tell you this Bella microwave has taken a beating uh, when I first put this up I just had it resting on here and uh, every time I take a turn I would just you know, hear it crash to the floor. So definitely find some way to secure it down. This uh, milk crate here, I've just got a, I've just got a rope, you know, running through it to fasten it down because otherwise it would do the same thing as well. But it's really nice to have an extra surface here. You know, if I'm getting some food together and I'm throwing something in the microwave, I can put the plate up here. You know, I can get things kind of prepped over here. Um, you know, again, if you're just out warming up food from the weekend before and you're going to be going home next weekend, it might not be all that important, but uh, the more food prep you're doing out here, um, the more this trick might come in handy. Um, we've got a little hook here. Uh, obviously, you can't screw into anything in these trucks, um, but this adhesive is actually super strong. And uh, so keep jacket, keep sweatshirt uh, hanging up there. Um, got this laundry basket actually kind of wishing I would have gotten just like a like a kitchen waste bin just because this is so much bigger the kitchen waste bin would have been you know just kind of square like that and I could have put this netting in there but uh, it works again if you're not out over the road it probably doesn't matter all that much but you know it might be two weeks you know before I do laundry um, got my guitar out here um, you can see in the back I've got my grill which um, I'll be doing another video here uh, on cooking out out on the road but uh, yeah having this extra storage man it just it just really helps everything is like easy easy to access um, got my backpack got my my uh, uh, shower bag I'm going and taking my showers um, this I think I found at a Walmart um, I got this actually when I was still out on the trainer truck and had this up along the back uh, up in my bunk um, but it's basically just tied on to these uh, you know safety belt um, you know connections up here and uh, again it's just you know really really cool to have uh, extra easily accessible space um, I got another mattress that I put on here. I was not too pleased with the, the mattress that I got from Maverick, so I just got another mattress on top of here uh, that has done a world of good for my back. Um, and I, I don't use the storage under here. Really, I, got, I just started getting back into backpacking, so I got all my backpacking stuff under here. 
Um, if you do end up going this route, and if you have uh, an extra mattress on top, you'll find it's pretty hard to, to get into your storage under here. But one of the tricks I found, tricks I found with this uh, with this garbage can that I've got. So if I lift this guy up like this, I can just put this under here and then have access to everything that I need to get to underneath. Uh, but it's just my pack and hiking boots and extra pair of tennis shoes and that kind of stuff under there. So let's see here. One of the other things that I've got that uh, I found to be really helpful is uh, one of these back support. It's like a clicking back support kind of deals. You know, there's there's really not a lot of room back here, or not a lot of comfortable, you know, wall space to lean up against. And you know, this thing on the, the this air vent is really not conducive to just kind of sitting up in bed. So you know, I can put this up against the back here like this and lean up. I can also, uh, you know, sit like this on the edge of the bed and behind the, the passenger seat here I've got some, a couple of tables you can get at Walmart. I got these originally for uh, grilling. So I've got two of them. I'll put, my, I'll put my grill on one and then the other will be a kind of a prep, you know, space. But, uh, you know, I can sit I can sit here like this on the, on the edge of the bed and uh, get my laptop out. It's actually a super, you know, just a super comfortable spot to sit, and, you know, do whatever kind of work you got to do. Um, I also will use these tables if I'm watching any Netflix movies or something like that. I'll just put the bring the table out so I don't have to hold the computer on my lap. I know some guys will get those uh, those uh, it's like for hospital beds and whatnot. Those like trays, like a breakfast tray that goes over your lap. But again, if you want to sit up or stand up or lean over something like that, you gotta you gotta fuss with it. You know, this I can just kind of put off to the side and uh, you know get to go. So, uh, and one of the things you gotta do when you're putting these extra folding, uh, you know, pieces of furniture, which I'll show you what's behind the driver's seat here in a second. Uh, if you don't secure them with this, uh, with this uh, drape, with this curtain. Uh, they will slide out when you take a turn. So typically what I do is I'll take one end and slide it down the front and then I'll take the other end and uh, slide it down the back and just kind of squeezes it in there and uh, all is well in the world. So now on this side, um, you know my water has just ended up, you know I drink a lot of coffee in the morning, make my own coffee. I guess I should point that out over here before we move on. Uh, you got to make sure that you get uh, appliances, whether it's your coffee maker or your microwave. I think it's 600 watts, something like that. You want to make sure it's underneath that, otherwise it's going to short it out, short out your system. Uh, you can't run both of these at the same time. But uh, you know, I keep my coffee. I grind my my beans fresh every morning, which uh, was a little bit over the top for a lot of people. But I got my grinder back here. And uh, I got my beans back here, and then these filters and whatnot also stay back there. So if you if you try to keep them up front, again when you turn, they're going to fall and crash to the floor. I actually had one of these break, um, so they got to kind of stay in the back. Um, but yeah, I keep my water. I was you know trying to find other places to put my water, but it's just I just keep it out, and then I use my empty over here for you know, uh, driving necessities, driving, uh, you know, needs. You can't pull over and use the restroom uh, at uh, the drop of a, of a hat. So uh, for that reason, I also have, I've got a chair here, which I rarely use. 
but uh, this was a, a really uh, great purchase online. It's all ready for uh, the emergency that is eventual. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And uh, I know I know other guys come up with other creative solutions, but I, I tell you, man, you having this is this is double bagged. I got two garbage bags in here, and uh, you know, like I say, you can't just pull into the next McDonald's and make a run for for the restroom if you happen to be in a kind of a compromised digestive situation. So, um, highly recommend getting something like that. Uh, wasn't too expensive and uh, has come to the rescue uh, on more than one occasion uh, so yeah I think that's kind of it back here uh, I've got my MiFi wireless hotspot uh, which definitely comes in handy uh, keep my snacks and my coffee down within the arm's reach Let's see, I'm not sure what all is going to be relevant to you guys. I mean, it's, uh, you know, a lot of little stuff that I've kind of, you know, fallen into. So, you know, keeping all my pins in here, I just got some, uh, a roll of this, uh, some kind of like uh, a hose repair tape or something like that I saw at one of the gas stations. Um, without that, your pins will kind of slide and fall in there, so that's... Uh, you know, kind of an easy trick to keep everything in its, in its place. Um, I had one of the, the cup holder uh, phone little carriers here. Um, ended up moving to this one, which uh, it seems to work alright. I mean, i got to reach a little bit further if I want to do... Obviously, it's all one touch as a driver. But, uh, you know, that seems to work out alright. My stereo does not have a Bluetooth connection. I guess some of the some of the guys out here have Bluetooth in their stereo, so they can just sync their phones to it. Um, I just got a Bluetooth speaker um, that does the trick. It's pretty good. The bass is pretty good. It's um, you know can be a little bit muffled sometimes. I'll put it up here. Um, sometimes if I'm not taking too many turns, I'll put it up there. And uh, if I'm really having a hard time listening to whatever I'm listening to, I just you know put my headphones on. Um, the Garmin GPS, I've been pretty happy with that. I'm going to do a separate video on that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's, you know, keeping paper towel up here is good. You're eating or something like that, which, I don't know, you got to blow your nose or something. It's within reach. I'm lattice, I hardly ever use anymore. Um, and then all my workout stuff. I got my workout bag. We'll do a separate video on working out out here and, and all of that. Uh, so this light right here is uh, is pretty awesome. Uh, it's got a pull cord, and uh, you know you can smack it on and off. It's all adhesive, so you don't need to worry about you know damaging the truck. Um, I've got these little stick-on lights in all of these uh, um, shelf areas. These containers are actually pretty cool. Um, the trick to them is you got to keep them full because if they're not if they're not full stuff will fall over with the bigger containers That's not that big of a deal, but with your salt and pepper if they tip over Everything just kind of shakes out so you end up with a bunch of salt and pepper at the bottom So uh, that doesn't happen. I had to buy some extra. I don't even know what this is Italian seasoning uh, To make sure that that didn't happen, but likewise with this but if you don't have it full uh, when you open it up, they're all going to be spilled out all over the place. But uh, the biggest thing here is these lights. These lights are awesome. The worst part about them is, um, you know, sometimes you forget to turn them off. Um, but I got them in here as well um, for the top and for the bottom. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing here, um, probably next time I go home, I've already measured it out, is getting a board to uh, act as a shelf. I'm going to have to get a little leg here. Because there's no, um, no little foothold there, but uh, I have to keep my pants elsewhere because you know you get all this space here, and there is a bar to hang stuff in. But I'm not going to hang up any clothes, so I uh, figure if I if I get a shelf here, I can keep all my shirts and underwear, all that, all that stuff down there. Keep the pants up top; everything will be well in the world. I guess one other thing uh, that I use quite a bit is uh, 
my uh, my Bissell vacuum cleaner. Now it just took a uh, turn for the worse. My uh, spinner up front isn't working. It still gets pretty good suction, but the uh, the brush isn't working. Um, it comes with uh, you know, one of these uh, one of these attachments uh, as you get into the edges and everything. I use it quite a bit. Uh, some guys have made the mistake of getting the ones that you plug in, and uh, the plug-in ones are um, typically too too powerful. They're gonna they're gonna short out uh, the system. So, um, and I and I had a really cheap one that I got that uh, definitely was not uh, up to the task, and I ended up taking it back and trading it. I just you know spend the money. I think that was like sixty or seventy bucks or something like that. Uh, you definitely get what you pay for with those kind of things, so you know, might as well spend the money up front and save yourself the hassle later. All my, you know, plates and bowls kind of are in the back, back here. And these containers right here, you know, you can just reach in and grab a fork or a spoon, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, extra pots and pans, which I don't really use all that much. Usually if I'm busting out the grill, I'm grilling on it, even though it's got a, a stove top surface on there. Uh, yeah, safety glasses, you know, keep the safety glasses, the old, uh, got all my, my codes for the, uh, the people net, which is not my favorite thing to use, but it is a necessary evil. You got the sunscreen to keep from getting arm cancer, um, regular sunglasses, got my fueling gloves and my work gloves. So that's about it. I hope you find this helpful. And uh, again, anybody who has any, any suggestions or any other ideas about how they organize things inside their truck, any, any tricks or hacks that they've figured out, uh, please do share some ideas. And uh, we'll be coming at you soon with another video. All right, take care.